L let me ask you, Andrew Weissman, to put this moment into some context of your career. Um, we'll give it that arc. Um, it, it seems to me, and, and I concluded on Friday, that at some point it stops being about Trump, right? Um, even mob defendants have a desire not to be in prison while they're awaiting trial, and their shenanigans seem to have some responsiveness to that desire not to be in prison. Trump's behavior seems totally immune and almost outside of all of the levers and tools available to criminal justice system. So, so put what you're seeing in real time from this criminal defendant in, in, in relation or, or in context to what else you've seen in your career. You know, when I look at this, it, it's not a reflection of Donald Trump. I mean, we know what he is. He has engaged in this behavior. It is it, it will increasingly be over the top as he is gets closer and closer and then is on criminal trial. This is about our institutions and how they um, are incapable of actually handling this situation for a whole variety of reasons. In, in normal cases, when I've handled uh, organized crime cases, violent criminals, there is a process where they are um, held to standards. And if they were to engage in this kind of conduct, yes, they are usually given sort of the one bite at the apple. They're given one warning. And then there are consequences, which can include and, and often does include jail. Just think about not that long ago, Paul Manafort, he committed um, obstruction of justice by coaching two witnesses to lie, and he was remanded by the federal judge who oversaw his case. So I really think this is a situation where you have so many people bending over backwards, giving the former president the benefit of the doubt over and over again. And I think that is sort of the road to hell. Um, by not having um, sort of held these trials already, by not having investigated in a timely way, by not holding him to the exact same standard that we'd hold anyone else to, we're both violating our oaths of office. We're violating what it means to have a justice system that holds everyone to the same standard. And it really, I know it, it, a lot of times it's born out of trying to be ultra fair, but it's leading to really like beyond two systems of justice. It's a unique system of justice for Donald Trump, which is not constant with what it means to have a democracy. And we may find ourselves without a democracy if we don't sort of wise up and hold him to the same standard that we do. Everyone else who has ever been treated that way in all of the criminal cases I've ever done in my entire life. I mean, this is the mo farthest I've heard you go, Andrew Weissman. And I mean, you're describing ultra fair. And, and, I, and I appreciate that you went farther than to say a singular standard. He, he now exists in a status only available to him. Wasn't available to Jeffrey Epstein, wasn't available to, to mob bo I mean, it, it, it exists only for him. And I wonder if at some point we stop with all of this. We say he was too much.